Hey everybody, welcome to the Digital 411. I am here with David Shooty, who uh, is it, it's it's David Shoot, otherwise Shooty. known as Shooty on Alice Radio from back in the day, right? That is true. All right. That is true. Thanks, Derek, for having me. Yeah, how's it going? It's going as well as it possibly can in this current situation. Well, that's a very uh, valid answer. So, um, David, you are an appraiser as well as a radio celebrity, of course. And <laughs> I haven't been a radio celebrity for 100 years, but thanks. Um, you got it. Uh, and you're, you run an AMC, basically, from my knowledge, correct? Like you're, That is correct. Uh, the appraisal uh, management company known as At Home VMS. Gotcha. Um, who do a good job in the Bay Area, I will say, which is not an easy thing. Um, I appreciate that. What is the, so I wanted to talk, it's been hard for me to even nail down an appraiser right now because they're all going nuts or else uh, most of them don't even want to talk to people, let alone be on a camera, right? So, um, Correct. Uh, uh, so thanks again. And uh, what is the process right now of appraising properties since the whole shelter in place and all that? Well, it's, it is a complicated situation for certain. Um, you know, right now, in this, we, we discussed a little bit of this already, but um, right now what is happening is, is there's fewer appraisers actually in the field working right now because the average age of the average appraiser qualifies for high risk in this current environment. Gotcha. So a lot of them have pulled themselves out of the market and just said, I, this is not something I'm willing to take the risk of. Uh, the second part of that problem is, is the, the younger population of appraisers that are left. Some of them have pulled themselves out due to fear. Uh, some others have pulled themselves out due to the fact that they might be caring for somebody that's elderly, so they don't want to come home and be a carrier. And so that's really limited the field. And what's happening is, is we've got fewer appraisers doing more work, and the fees are going up, and the delivery expectations are also extending. Um, in terms of the actual process, you know, most of these appraisers are very concerned for the for the client, the borrower, and themselves. So there's there there is a lot of masks being worn. Um, the, the gloves are also a factor. Some actually will, are wearing full hazmat suits uh, and 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 booties wow. when, before they enter a property. Um, sometimes that's the request from the client too. So it's it becomes a it, it's definitely become a, a significant challenge. Gotcha. And um, is there some sort of like, I, I told you we have that property inspection, uh, property uh, yeah. entry advisory. Is there some sort of like- Yeah, there uh, are forms. Uh, I, I can't remember what the name of the form is, but there are forms that appraisers are being asked to sign before going to the property. It's interesting though, because they're, they're, I've heard of e &O companies, that's their errors and omissions insur insurance that appraisers have to carry. I've heard E&O companies saying, if you sign that, we will not, we will not insure you. <laughs> oh, wow. Because it puts them at a pretty significant liability because this is a disease that we, you don't know if you've got it. So you, you sign that form and you enter the property, you might think that you're clean and good, and, but, but it becomes an issue. So it, I don't know how they can, I don't know how the insurance companies can, can, can validate that. So there, there, therein lies a problem. Gotcha. And one thing I noticed too, I had a four unit in Chico and it was almost impossible to find an appraiser and it was not cheap to get it done. Yeah. yeah. So there is a, yeah. we're experiencing this in the, in the lovely environment behind you right now in Oakland also. Uh, yes. In the multifamily segment of things, appraisers are afraid to go into those properties. Um, and there, there are, there are appraisers that are willing to go into single family homes, but they're not going to go into the, into the apartment complexes. And part of that problem is because their contact is the property owner. Well, the property owner has no idea when and where his tenants have been, uh, if they've been in and out of their property, if they've been on vacation, he can't validate those things. And that's why the appraisers are, are often saying, well, I just won't do those because I can't, I can't qualify my safety. Right. Well, thank you very much. I think uh, you've provided a ton of information, so I really, really appreciate it. Like I said, I've been trying to nail down someone to cover this, and uh, it's, it's my pleasure. I appreciate it. So. An Anytime you've got an appraisal question, let me know. Absolutely. And uh, yes, thank you. Have a good day. Hey, you too. Thanks.